It's time to draw my sword. Watch out, champ. It's time to draw my sword for some boss fighting sim- Why did that guy run right in front of me? Why would you do that? I'm trying to do my intro. Anyways, today we're in a brand new game called Boss Fighting Simulator. It came out a few days ago, and uh, we got a sword. There's bosses over there. So this actually looks pretty cool. It's pretty unique. It seems kind of like Dungeon Quest without the, and the other AI, like, without the other uh, computer opponents. It's just bosses. So you just go over here, and you just fight a dang boss. And look, there's bosses behind too. There's a Zeus boss. There's a lot of bosses that you have to kind of unlock the fights for, and then you get certain rewards. So you basically go fight the boss, get rewards, and then you buy better weapons and items and probably level up, and that's how you unlock new bosses to fight. So you already know what that means. I'm gonna do whatever it takes, all right? Even if I, oh, I got one power award. <laughs> Even if I have to stay here for 10 years, hopefully not, or spend all me monies, all me Robux, I'm gonna fight the best, hardest, craziest boss in the game, all right? It's probably Zeus, and we're gonna kick his butt! Because he's a stupid man, and I'm an amazing man. So there's one huge thing to point out. I don't have face cam this video, and that's because, well, I'm not really feeling too great, and my hair looks stupid, so just don't judge me, okay? We're doing no face cam. Just watch it to the end to see how crazy this video is gonna get, because it's gonna get insane. Dude, this guy, this guy wants all the glory. This is my shot, not yours. Anyways, apparently you just click to get power, or to get sword strength. Yeah, I guess it's power. You can get times two power right here. There's a leaderboard. There's a sell power. So you can go here to sell your power. Bam, I made nine bucks. That was that was actually pretty cool. That was satisfying. Um, and then you go over here to buy runes. Runes are kind of, oh, these are auras and you spend runes. Oh, okay. I understand now. So coins and runes are the two currencies and you use runes to buy auras, which are just like all the other auras in every other game. And then this is where you buy the new swords, bags, and mastery, which is this game's version of rank. So same kind of concept from Saber Sim, except different gameplay. I, I like that. They're, they're kind of outside the box with that and it's pretty unique. So hopefully it's cool. They got a big wide map with a lot of different capture points where you can get multipliers and stuff. But I don't know, is there anything to collect around the map? It's kind of weird. There's like nothing to collect around the map. You'd think they would make like coins or runes or something, but no, I don't, unless they're not loading, I, I don't see them at all. Oh, and look, here's a PVP zone. I don't want to go in there because I am absolutely not ready. So we're going to go ahead and since we got this group reward, we got a lot of money. Go ahead and sell real quick. And then we're going to see if we can buy a better sword to take on this noob. Even though it's a noob boss, I want to see if we can take this thing on first try. And I, I ain't trying to get embarrassed on camera. You know what I mean? So let's go over here and get this first weapon. It's a hundred bucks. We could buy it. Yes. So I got the ice linked sword. It does two damage. So we're about to fight this boss. Hopefully, oh, 13 seconds. Come on, come on everybody. I think like multiple people can join, which is pretty cool. You need more power. Oh, I need a hundred power. I need, so I need to like stock up my power. Is that, is that what I need to do? I don't really understand. Maybe I need a hundred power in my inventory or do I need a hundred power total? Yeah, I need a hundred power in my inventory. Interesting, okay. And then all these require a different amount of power. So you gotta be insanely powerful to take these things on. The undead. And then I think the hardest one, oh, there's one after Zeus. It's the one that's on like the front cover, the Black Knight. So we gotta take on the Black Knight by the end of this. But let me just go ahead and click until I get to, this is actually taking a while. You know what? I might turn into Russo Pays, all right? Who knows if I'm gonna play this game again but I want to get some advantages. Let's check out the shop and see what kind of game passes they got going on. They got game passes for times two coins, times two runes. We're going to get the times two power. We, we, we got to get it. We just got to. Decided to also get times two damage because, you know, when we're fighting that boss, we got we to gotta get a lot, of, a lot of things going on here. But there's also boosters. Three times coins for an hour. You, you had me at three times coins for an hour, bro. I'm about to do it. I'm not gonna purchase all these because I don't really need those. Oh, the health one would come in handy right before you go to the boss. That would be pretty sick. But for now, I'm just gonna get the coins because I want some coin multipliers. The purchasing is slow right now. I'm not sure if Roblox is broken, but you know. Alrighty, now that we purchased some game passes and we should be pretty OP, now we have enough power to go fight. But I need to get more in my bag. See, the thing is though, I could also get infinite back and like that would be pretty sick. <laughs> Honestly guys, in, in games, whenever there's a backpack and you have to purchase new backpacks, 
I'm like, let me just get infinite bag. Let me just skip right to that because the backpack thing is kind of frustrating. So I'm going infinite bag. I know I spent a lot before we even fought a boss, but I don't care. I'm going in this video to dominate the best boss, okay? That's what I'm going to do. So I need everything and I need all the help I can get, okay? There you have it. We have 100 power. We have the most amount of bag collection, which is infinite. And it's time to go slay a boss. So here we go. You teleport to the boss, and then he's right here. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! And they fight back, too, which is awesome. So it's kind of like a boss in Saber Sim, except they fight back, which is cool, but this noob was pretty easy. I got a good sword, I got multipliers, and we got him! 300 gold! That's not bad. I don't know how you get runes, um, but hey, I, I'm doing pretty good on the coins. I got 1,700! because I have the two multiplier and the three multiplier. Let's go to the shop and see what we can buy now. We can buy a fire link sword, void link sword, and we can't afford this one, but we got a void link sword. There's a ton of swords. I'm gonna try and get the best one, but that might be kind of hard without ranking up. And in order to rank up, you need like 2 million coins. So it's gonna require a lot. Is there anything else in this game that like helps you with your multiplier? There's just settings, codes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else besides the game passes, but once you defeat one boss, you unlock the next one. So in order to do this one, I need 500 power. I'm not quite there, so I'm gonna have to keep on, you know, powering up a little bit, if you will. Hey guys, I, I'm stupid and I didn't realize you can fight the other bosses again while you're waiting. So like, I can go fight this knight real quick, slap him up real quick, just a couple of hits, and they get 250 coins, right? Just right there. But I'm actually getting 1500 for my multipliers. So I can just keep on fighting him endlessly, but I'm ready for the orc now. You're actually gonna wanna fight the other bosses while you wait. So you don't have to actually just grind up for the bosses yourself. Oh my gosh, I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything, bro. I have to wait for him to spawn again or something. What the heck? I joined in and I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even touch him at all. Now I'm the orc boss. I am the orc boss and no one can defeat me. Just kidding, I guess I have to wait here until he comes back, so... This is awkward. Oh, there he is! Okay, so he literally almost killed me. But I got him with a few hits. I'm gonna kill him right here. Watch, easy, easy. Oh, he's taking a lot of hits. He's taking a lot more than I thought! But I got him. How much coins? 15,000 coins for that, and I'm almost at 10,000 power. So what's this wizard boss at? How much do we need? Oh my gosh, 200K? Bro! This thing grew real fast. All right, so now I'm looking at 200K power. So the multiplier's gone up a significant amount. Okay, we're gonna have to do some serious work here. So do I have a boost for power? Is there a boost for that? There's a boost for runes, damage, and health, but no power. I have the multiplier for power, I have the multiplier for damage, and I have the one for coins and infinite bags. So I bought, <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff here but it would be really helpful to get an aura right now. Ugh, I wish there was a way to get runes. The only way to get runes is to purchase them or to fight the last three bosses, but that's what we're gonna do. So 11K. Oh, we can get out of the boxing gloves, I bet. Yup, we made it to knives. They look like murder mystery knives and we made it to the knives. They do 112 power. Actually, these ones do 98. 98 power, but with my multipliers, 196. Not too bad, and I got dual knives. So we're getting power pretty quickly, but actually nowhere near as quick as we need to to fight this wizard. Like, this wizard needs 200k power. I'm not even close. I'm literally like not even close for this. So this is definitely gonna take a bit. We're gonna, we gotta fight these other bosses while we're waiting. So let's fight the orc boss. This thing gives 15,000. Oh, I need more power. Whoops. There we go. Now we're ready. So this orc boss does 15,000 coins. No! Ah! Oh, when somebody's already in here, I kind of hate that because then you have to just like awkwardly sit here and wait, but you know, whatever. At least you get to see my cool swords in action. I mean, knives. Let me know in the comments what kind of bosses you were facing in this. Did you guys beat the Black Knight, the ultimate boss? That's my goal by the end of this video, no matter how long it takes. So I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding off camera since we're already pretty far into this video, about 13 minutes in, and I'm not even at like, I'm not even close to the last boss. So, oh, I'm not even doing that much damage anymore. Oh, the orc actually almost killed me. Dude, I'm about to die. You gotta be careful out here. Woo, I literally almost died. I might have to get these boosts. I didn't think these boosts would matter, but I, I might cop these boosts real quick, guys. Actually, it's not letting me purchase anything, so like the game might be broken, but 
I might rejoin and purchase those boosts because those will help me out a lot. I want to mention I joined a VIP server to see if those purchases will work and I invited my Discord. I sent the link in my Discord. So if you guys are not already a part of my Discord, make sure you join the Blue Crew Discord in the description. We got a nice server there and I post VIP server links sometimes and then people can join them and they can play with me. Yay! So we got somebody in here and hopefully it fills up with all Blue Crew members so they can help me with the bosses. Here's some extra progress. I'm, I actually got a few more game passes. I got the times three and the times three damage because those bosses were kind of tough. But I'm at the axes now. I have 4.8 million coins and I'm almost able to get the ice axes. This ax is doing 20K per click and since I have multipliers, I'm getting 40K per click. So I'm ready to fight this wizard boss that we haven't taken on yet. And then the pirate is next. We broke 500K. Oh, I have literally no health. I should have healed. Ah! Okay, I might die here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Oh my gosh, these multipliers help so much. They help so much, They're, they literally saved my life. I would have been dead, I would have been dead meat. So nobody's joining the server for some reason, but we got somebody in here from the Discord. So I actually decided to rank up a little bit and I made it to rank warrior, which I think is times four everything. I think that's the mastery number. So yeah, I'm, I'm warrior, I'm not too crazy. It's all actually, I'm actually only like three ranks up. So novice, soldier, warrior, knight is the fourth one and I can easily afford it. Uh, I'm at a billion, all I need is 700 million but I don't wanna do it yet, okay? Because I have an insanely cool weapon. I have a fire cleaver. This thing does a lot of damage. Every click, I'm getting 39 million power. So that's kind of a lot. I don't really wanna lose that right now. So I'm gonna fight this undead boss. It requires 700 million and we're fighting it right now. With all my multipliers and stuff, I can take this thing out pretty quickly. Look at this. The only thing I don't like about each boss is the fact that, wait, why am I fighting the wizard? I don't know why I'm fighting the wizard, but okay. The only thing I don't like about each boss is it's all in the same exact arena. I like that they have different audio for each one and stuff like that, but like they, they should have made different arenas for every boss. I mean, it's kind of lame that it's just one little checkered pattern right here. And then each boss is like the same exact arena. But other than that, it doesn't really matter too much. It's just one little touch. These are the final three bosses for me, guys. I made it to this point. I, I did spend a lot of Robux, but I've also been playing this game for hours. And the Ice King is right here, difficulty hard. You get five runes for this. Oh, I also got runes and I got myself some auras. We also get runes for this. Zeus, 400 billion power. And then this one, five trillion power. So this next one, 10 billion power. It's, it's gonna take a while. I'm only at 1.6 billion. Oops, and I'm accidentally fighting the noob. I didn't really mean to do that. The teleport's kind of weird, but let's just take him out. There we go. Now I need to stack up 10 billion or 5 billion. I can't remember how much that was. So I need to keep on getting my swords up. So let's go ahead and sell 2 billion and see how much we get for this. 29, we got 24 billion, so we're 29 billion. We can definitely upgrade our weapons now. Let's upgrade this, this, and there we go. We're on to the next class, or should I say cutlass? Ha, ha, ha because that's what the sword's called. Oh my gosh, we made it right through that. And now we're at Halberd. This thing's like a long spear axe. This thing looks crazy. It's got a spear at the end and an axe at the top. And it's, it, it like swings super slowly, but it does a lot of damage. That's an insane amount of money. Or insane amount of power, 128 million per click. So my billions should stack up pretty quickly. The Ice King, what is it, 10 billion? Yeah, 10 billion for the Ice King. So shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding off camera. Um, by the way, the, the health is kind of confusing, but basically you gain more total HP as you click. So it kind of looks like you're losing HP. And then when you sell, you actually go back to 100. So like now that I'm clicking again, I'm back up to 23 billion. It looks like I have no HP because I don't, because I just, I just uh, basically reset my power. But if you stand in the healing well, you go up super, super fast and you actually regenerate out of the healing well as well. It's just a lot slower, but you know, you can go in the healing well for that. But I'm gonna keep buying and grinding and I'll see you guys when we start to face these crazy hard bosses. We're almost to the final boss. Alrighty, we just made it to the long sword and guys, we're literally so close to the final sword. Like we're, we're literally right there. I like how they have a ton of different types of models and it's all just the same aura. I kind of like that. It's kind of like Ninja Legends and it's better than Saber Sim, I will say, because Saber Sim had the same, almost the same swords every time. It doesn't even feel different, but this stuff, it's cool to unlock the next row of swords, but we at the long sword right now, 145 million power per click, but with the multipliers, it's doing literally 1.2 billion per click. So there we go. We're already ready for the Ice King. And I think with all my multipliers and how OP I am, 
Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty easy battle, even though it should be a tough boss. So typically it's kind of hard. I have the Robux and, you know, Russo advantage, but here it is, the Ice King, difficulty hard. Let's fight this thing. We get runes for this as well. Oh! Oh my gosh, okay, so this is definitely hard. There's, there's other enemies on the floor. There's other enemies on the floor, bro. What? Okay, luckily we we almost died there. We literally almost died, but we, we made it. We made it out alive. We got 10 runes and 36 billion money for that. That was an intense fight, but there was other enemies too. There wasn't just a boss. There was actually like little minions. So that battle has a lot to offer and you, you gotta watch out when you fight those guys. So we killed the Ice King. Now the Zeus boss is next, but how much does it cost? Oh my gosh, the teleport is so weird. I didn't even get close. I don't even think I got close to this noob. How am I, the, the bosses are like way too close together because I'm not even able to like, like check on this uh, on this boss. But the Zeus boss is, I don't even know. It's hard to check. Um, 400 billion. So that's gonna cost a lot. And then of course we got the Black Knight at five trillion. So those are gonna be tough, but I'm assuming once I get better swords, it should go up faster because like the multiplier I get goes up faster. I'm really hoping I don't have to rank up anymore, guys, because I ranked up a little bit, and basically what happens when you rank up is just like Saber Sim. You lose all the boss fights that you unlocked, and you lose all the weapons. You keep your auras, I believe, uh, but yeah, there's no other like pets or any multipliers that you keep, so you just kinda have to start over from scratch. So gain a multiplier for like ranking up, so there's that. But let's go ahead and sell one more time. 800 billion. Now we can afford some new weapons, some new long swords. Let's go down to the long sword and 65 bill. Fire, void, doom. And the next one is a giant hammer. Ice hammer, fire hammer. So we're literally two rows off, guys. We're almost to the final weapon in the game. This one's doing four billion per click. That's ridiculous. I have a trillion health. I have a trillion health at this power. I actually already had a trillion health, but let's sell real quick. 400 billion, no big deal. All right, I'm gonna keep ranking up until I get to the best sword. I'm gonna show you guys the best sword, and then we're gonna take on this number one boss, because this video is getting kind of long. Hey guys, so we made it to this weapon, the scythe, and uh, I can't wait to see the other variations of this. And I wanna see what the number one weapon is. We're almost there, but we got the scythe right now. We're about to be at 400 billion power, which means we can take on Zeus. And then there's just one more enemy standing in our way, the Black Knight. So it's gonna be fun to fight this guy. This guy's on the cover of the game, and he's on the loading screen, so he must be pretty powerful. But let's just go through this. Nope, and fight Zeus. Here we go. Ah! Okay, so it's a hard difficulty, just like the other one. Oh my gosh, I'm literally about to die. I'm about to die. I gotta kill him quick. Okay, luckily I have all these multipliers. <laughs> luckily with all these multipliers, it's easy peasy, bro. It's, it's just, it's not even a contest, but normally that would be pretty tough. I could see how that would be hard. I'm in seven trillion amount of coins, and it's time to see if we can afford these. Oh my gosh. We might make it to the final one. That's it, Majolner. I never know how to say this, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say Jolner, but it's a type of hammer. It's like Thor's hammer and it's five trillion for the first one. So we're almost able to afford that one, but uh, not quite. But now we need to get to one trillion power, which actually, no, we need five trillion. Five trillion power to defeat the Black Knight. We're almost there, because we're kind of almost at one trillion. We're getting 72 billion per click, not bad, but we need to sell and upgrade our weapons. So let's get this hammer. We're almost to the final weapon. Guys, the moment you've been waiting for. I have enough power to fight this thing, but I want to wait until I get the best weapon possible, even though the boss is going to be easy with all these multipliers. So let's sell. There we go. We have the second best one in the entire game, and here's the best one, the Doom Jolner. This is it right here, 150 billion power, multiplied by what I got. It's doing 1.2 trillion. So let's make sure we stack up in the healing world real quick. Just get some health on us. Honestly, guys, this battle's not gonna be too hard. It's gonna be a piece of cake because we're just so OP at this game right now because I spent a lot of Robux and I got a high class and I'm just ready to go. But I don't like the way these bosses are. Like, why do they put them in these orders where you can't like go to them and the teleport's really weird? Anyways, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Like the video if you guys think I'm gonna beat this boss. Subscribe if you're new and let's fight the Black Knight. The hardest boss in the entire game. Here it is. Here he is. Here he is. Okay, so he's actually doing damage. He's actually doing damage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I literally was about to die and I just smacked him once and he died. <laughs>
That's how OP the best weapon in the game is. Alrighty, well, I guess that's all it takes. You just get the best weapon in the game and you just defeat your enemies super dang quickly. So I guess that wraps up this episode. I know this was probably a longer video, but I wanted to discover every single boss and fight them all and I did it. All right, we made it. Are we on any like leaderboards or anything? Is there like most power? I wonder if we are. Richest players. Oh, I'm not even close. But these guys are in the queues. Yeah, I'm not even close to those guys. What about power? What about total power? The most powerful players. Ooh, they're in the queues. Yeah, I'm not even close. Oh, we had fun. We dominated and we got ourselves the victory royale on the Black Knight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and goodbye.